Hey guys, Sarah here from Crochet Lefty, and today we're going to learn the <clears throat> excuse me, Celtic weave stitch. Now, this is a cow pattern that I have, and you can find on Lovecraft and Etsy. Um, uh, this just is an example of what we will be learning today this stitch. Now when you get into these types of stitches with the uh, uh, front back post type stitches you will have this nice beautiful textured um, stitch on one side and then your other side will look like this. Not that it is ugly but when I'm wearing a scarf it is not going to be you know, when you twist it around your neck, it's not going to, it'll have one side, this side showing, and then this side might show or peek through. Um, and that was one reason why I did the cowl, uh, so that you could use the buttons the and uh, tuck it into your shirt or jacket or sweater. So, but let's move on. <clears throat> I'm using today this paint box Simply Chunky and I will also be using this Yarns Recommended 6mm J hook. Now I thought that this yarn would be great because it's a little thicker and the hook is a little uh, thicker as well and so that you'll be able to really see where I'm placing the hook because sometimes these stitches can get a little lost. So we are going to start with our slip knot and we're going to do a chain a multiple of four so I'm going to chain up my 16 Let me just double check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I'm going to add 3. 1, 2, and 3. Now these first two will count as your first double crochet and we'll be working our first double crochet into that third chain. So to do a double crochet you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that third stitch yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through two. Now this row is going to be all double crochets, so you're going to place one double crochet in each of these chain stitches across. We're setting up to work into our posts. So do one double crochet into each chain. Now if you would like, you could pause the video here and I can meet you back here in just a second. Okay, we are back and I have my first row of double crochets here. Now from here, we're going to be working um, front and back treble crochets our chain two in the beginning here and these first two skipped here are going to count as our double crochets so we will work one double crochet into that chain two space not space that chain two in the top stitch so from here we're going to do a treble a front post treble crochet and we're going to skip these first three stitches here. So one, two, and three. And we're going to work into these two stitches here. So to do a treble cro front post treble crochet, you're going to yarn over twice and you're going to insert your hook behind and to the front of your work. So you're going to work, you're going to insert your hook behind the post and to the front of the post you're not going to insert your hook here. We want to 
make sure our hook is not going into any of this. We want it to go around into the front of your post. So you're going to yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Now the tension on these can get, because it's such a tall stitch, it can be a little difficulty, difficult to maintain a good tension. And now we're going to do one front post up treble crochet into that next post right next to it. So it'll look like this. Now we're going to work back into these two stitches here. So we're going to yarn over and we're going to do a front post treble crochet into that second post that we skipped. So insert your hook behind and do your treble, front post treble. Now it's going to look a little weird starting off and when you go to find that next double, that skipped double crochet can hide in there because everything's kind of being squished together. So you just got to spread your work apart and kind of use your finger just to pop that stitch out so that you can get your hook back around it. And do one front post treble crochet. See, it kind of just looks like a mess. Now we're going to skip these two double crochets and we're going to work our front post double crochets into these double crochet posts. Again, insert your hook behind and up into the front. Now we're going to work back in to these two double crochets that we skipped. Do one front post double crochet into the first uh, double crochet post and use the, your finger and really push that double crochet out so you can get your hook around it. Okay, and again we're going to repeat that, so we're going to skip these two here and work into these two there. So yarn over twice, skip those two, and work into that next post with your front post treble crochet and then another front post double treble crochet and go back into those two stitches push your work out Now you should have one, two, three, four left. Well, one, two, three, four, five left. So you're going to skip those two there and work your treble in there. And in the next post. And go back into your two skipped. And now you're going to do one double crochet into that chain top, the chain two. Oops, not a half, a double. Okay, so here is your first row. 
Now this will be considered as the front of your work. So when we work, and this is considered the back of your work. Now this can also be worked with half double crochets here and then double crochets here as well. So if you wanted to modify it, you could also do it as well. Keep that chain two and still your multiples of four. So we're going to move on to the second row, or our third row. Okay, so now let's move on to our second row. And we're going to start by chaining up two. So one and two. And you turn our work, and this is where it gets, it could get a little tricky because now your stitches are all facing toward the back and you're going to essentially be working um, well, with the, the back of your work towards you. So we're going to start with our trebles and we're going to work um, back post treble crochets. We're going to start in these two treble posts here. So you're going to insert your hook around. So if you need to turn your work a little so that you can see, you're going to um, insert your hook around the post, yarn over, pull through, and you're going to do another treble into that next treble post. Now, turn your work so you can we're going to skip two, and looking at it, you're going, okay, where's these two stitches here? You're skipping these two stitches here. And when it comes to these types um, of stitches, it, you almost start to feel for the stitch. So if you were to stick your finger, you know, from the work, from your work, you'll see that these are the two stitches you're going to skip. So then you're going to jump all the way to these treble posts here. So you're going to do a treble, a back post treble crochet after you skip your two. And then you're going to do another one into that next one. Okay, so it'll look like that. Now we're going to go back and work into these posts that we skipped. So we're going to work, we want our hook to go in front of the, these two posts that we just created. We don't want them to go behind our work, we want them to go in front, in front and down. So you're going to work into this post first. So you're going to angle your hook down, see if I can, down, and around, and then again, find that post that we, that second post that we skipped and insert your hook, you're going to, let's see here, it will go, well oh, I'm getting all turned around to trying to do it that way, so it's going to go down and around like that. Okay, now we're going to skip these two stitches here, so it's these ones here, and we're going to work into these posts here. So skip your first two, those two posts, and do one back post treble crochet, and then another back post treble. Okay, now we're going to work into these two stitches that we skipped our tr back post treble crochet. So you're going to have your hook down and we're going to scoop it around like that. Okay. 
and another. Back post treble. So then you can start to see it coming together. So we're going to skip these two stitches here and we're going to work into these treble posts here. So you're on over twice. Make sure you're going into the first treble post. And then you're in your next treble post. And now we're going to go back and work into these two skipped posts. Now we're going to do our one double crochet into that chain two. Or actually, that would be your double crochet now. So <coughs> you can see it starting to come together. Now you're going to have these little holes and stuff here because these are much taller stitches. This is actually worked in a double crochet. So the stitches and the yarn is also um, not a chunky. I believe it's an Aran. So um, stitch size and yarn does contribute to having these uh, little holes. But you can start to see it coming together. So that is our fourth. One, two, three. Yes, our third. So we're going to move on to our fourth. Start with our chain two. One, two. Turn your work. And we're going to be working into these first posts. This should be a repeat of row three. So just simply do your back post treble crochets into those first posts there and then you will skip these two stitches here and you're going to work into those two posts there so another back post trouble into those two posts okay now we're going to work back into these. Make sure your hook is in front of the two posts that you just finished doing. Or in back. Yes, in back of the posts. So you're going to angle your hook down. Those are the two posts that were skipped. And you're going to just pull that post out so that you can do your treble post. And again, start to feel for those stitches. Yarn over. So you're going to skip these two here. And you're going to work your back post treble crochets and do those next two posts. Yarn over. Feel for those two posts that were skipped and then working in behind your stitches because this would be in front. Skipping these two posts here, working here,
and then your double crochet into that last stitch, that last double crochet, or chain two space. So, here is your Celtic weave, and so you'll just continue to repeat um, those stitches. Now to end this, you will want to chain up two. Now you can do a single crochet across, or you can do a half double crochet across, or a, uh, a double crochet across. Um, whatever you began with down here, you'll want to end up here. And uh, so I start with a chain of two, and I just do one double crochet in each stitch across. Here is your little swatch of your Celtic weave here. Again, I recommend like pulling up on it a little bit so that your stitches can kind of get settled in there. In with your posts. Now you could go keep going around and do a little border like if you were to do a single crochet across. You could go around and do a little border so that your ends aren't so uh, they're not bad but I kind of like to have like a little border is kind of what I did here added a little border here so that is it for today's stitch lesson I hope you guys enjoyed this if you did please stay tuned and like this uh, video and stick around, hit that subscribe button, and continue to see some more stitch videos. I will see you guys soon. Have a great one. Bye, you guys.